For fishermen like Lutfur Shona, things are finally getting back to normal. Several months after a massive oil spill, fish are starting to return. Some fish died right when the spill happened, and we couldn't catch much during those days. Then the river started to recover, and it's now about the usual amount of fish. Environmental activists feared the worst last December when the oil tanker sank in a protected dolphin sanctuary. Fortunately, damage was limited. A UN report found that the tides had quickly washed most of the oil out to sea. But if the damage was minimal, so are the lessons learned. So this cargo vessel is going up the exact same route, the same protected river, where the oil spill took place six months ago. The captain of this ship says he has no choice. He has to use this route regularly because it's the only way to get the cement that he's carrying into the rest of the country. With ships continuing to transport oil, fertilizer and cement through the Sundarbans, another potential disaster seemed inevitable. Sure enough, on May 5th, a ship carrying 200 tons of fertilizer sank nearby. The environmental damage is yet to be assessed. But environmental concerns are dismissed by ship owners. I want to say this with all due respect to environmental activists. What do these people do? They just stage protest rallies about the environment and give speeches. They don't do anything aside from that. Yet somehow they have very nice cars, very nice houses. I don't know who is giving them money. While commercial traffic continues to flow through the sanctuary, Lutfur Shona is no longer allowed access to much of the Sundarbans. The government has banned fishing in many parts of the rainforest because of concerns about overfishing. Locals like Lutfur were among the first to join the cleanup after the December spill, eager to save their waters from the pollution. Six months on, he doesn't see much of a future for him in the rainforest, which is not just the source of his livelihood, but also his home. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Sundarbans, Bangladesh.